My name is Barb Nangle. I'm the founder of Higher Power Coaching and Consulting, and I want to welcome you to my podcast, From Fragmented to Whole, Life Lessons from 12-Step Recovery. This is episode three. Do I have victim mentality? Learning that I had a victim mentality was an absolute game changer for me in recovery. The only other mind shift I've had as a result of my recovery that was more important than understanding I had victim mentality was understanding I was codependent and what that meant. I will leave that topic for another time. But as an introduction to this idea of me having victim mentality, I want to tell you that I was not and never have been a pessimist. I did not think the entire universe is against me or poor me or no matter what I do, nothing turns out right. It was much more subtle than that. In fact, I've known people who had that really obvious victim mentality and honestly, they fucking pissed me off. And I used to feel it was my job to rescue them. I really didn't understand that I was blaming others or the universe for my shit. The main problem with victim mentality is that there's no impetus to action. And 12 step programs are programs of action. My first sponsor used to say to me all the time, action, action, action. This is a program of action. But if we truly believe we're not at fault or at cause of the things that are going on in our lives, we're simply not going to do anything to change because we think we have nothing to do with it. In fact, we think we have no part in things. I've received a lot of gifts as a result of my recovery. And by far the greatest gift has been understanding my part in things. I really didn't know what I was doing in my life to create chaos and drama and dysfunction in my life. I truly believed if everybody around me would just do things my way, and this was not a conscious thought, by the way, and if the world only worked the way I wanted it to, then things would be a lot better. But I came to understand that I was not the victim of circumstances or other people's shit. Problem was, I had thought this way for my entire life, and the thoughts were so subconscious, it was extremely difficult for me to see. I didn't recognize it for what it was. I believed I had no part in things, and all the crap that was going on in my life had to do with other people, other forces, and that I was the victim of circumstances, but I would have never used that word. As I moved along in my recovery process, especially working the 12 steps, I began to see the myriad ways in which I had victim mentality, as if I had no agency, no possibility of affecting the world around me. And this was especially true in relationships and more so for me in romantic relationships. I happened to be attracted to men. So for me, it was if he would just fill in the blank then everything would be okay between us. Ironically, when other people would talk to me about their relationships, I would say things like, well, you know, you're 50% of that relationship. So if things aren't going right, you're at least 50% of the problem. But somehow I couldn't see that as true for me too. In fact, the way I thought, which I can see now was that Bad things in the relationship are not my fault, but the good things are my fault. Isn't that ironic? The gigantic epiphany I mentioned in the last episode where I realized I need to leave more space between cars and ultimately I'm the problem or really my thinking is the problem is what really opened things up for me. It helped me come to be able to see that I had this victim mentality. There's a huge difference between being an actual victim and having victim mentality. My inner life is not subject to the whims of other people. I have a choice about how to see things, how to deal with life, what to focus on, etc. 
If you've ever heard of Viktor Frankl, then you'll know what I'm talking about. For those of you who don't know him, he was in a concentration camp in World War II, which is probably about the most victimized state a human could be in, damn close to the top, if not the top. And one of his famous quotes is this, forces beyond your control can take away everything you possess except one thing, your freedom to choose how you will respond to the situation. Again, that's a quote by Viktor Frankl. In his particular case, he realized he could still choose to help other people. He didn't have to be defined by the Nazis who had victimized him. So even if you have a reason, you don't have to feel like a victim. Feeling like a victim relegates you to the position of non-action. Nothing will ever change if you think you're just a victim. If you've ever asked yourself, why does this always happen to me? Or why won't he ever, or why doesn't she ever, whatever the end of that sentence is. Some of us go through life asking questions like this, and then we wonder why all these bad things keep happening to us, or why we have the same dysfunctional patterns in our relationship for years and years and years, when the common denominator to all those relationships is us. One thing we might ask ourselves instead of why does this always happen to me or why does she, doesn't she ever or does he always, is we can say, am I allowing situations in life or events to manage me or am I determined to manage them as best I can? You're obviously not in control of everything that happens to you but you can control how you react. If you react as a victim, that is thinking you have nothing to do with the situation, you're doomed. You're doomed to be stuck in that position because you see no reason for action. And if you see no reason for action, then you're simply not going to take action. If you want a life truly that is happy, joyous, and free, then you must take action. That's it for today. Thank you for listening. Be sure to like and subscribe so you can get future episodes of